Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I always want to say it's a new week, it's a new start and I'm thinking then, oh, but it's Wednesday, what new week, what new start? But since I have started making this uh, YouTube channel and, and up uploading the videos like every week, I have realized that yes, my week usually now starts on Wednesday because on Monday I'm still uh, adding up the last video for the previous week, like then working on the uh, videos and, and like still living in the past. And then finally on Tuesday when I have everything uploaded, I also start thinking about already this week. And then I can say that on Wednesday I'm fully yeah ready for this week. It's kind of weird, right? But well, that's that's what, how it is lately. Let's get on with a crocheting, right? So last week, I finished up with a, uh, making the three lovely jellyfish. Let me just show you one more time in case you have forgotten or maybe you are somebody new who has just come across my videos and this is the first one you're watching. So I'm preparing for the market and this is my uh, jellyfish, three lovely jellyfish that I'm going to take with me. But I realized that if I'm going to be, now I have octopuses from the cotton and these ones and they're kind of little and to fill the whole big table there uh, with such small items is rather hard and that's when uh, the plushies come in <laughs> that's because th they are bigger and they are gonna fill up the rest of the space so um and i was thinking to myself what if i do the same pattern the same like way i making i made these jellyfish let me try and make the same thing on them with a velvet yarn so I still had uh, this kind of a yarn lying around, fluffy yarn, the green, it's light green. I don't have any other light colors from, this is my, the, this is the one that I have been praising all the time, the lovely yarn that is not fluffing anywhere around. It's solid, it's good, and at the same time soft and shiny. Everything I'm just dreaming of. I'm really so sad that it's not anymore in the shop where I I used to buy it. But it's okay. It's okay. I have alternative. If the market goes well, I will have to order some more from the shop, uh, the Infinity Hearts Petunia. But it's not yet the time. So I do need usually. But as I said, I'm preparing for the market from the yarn that I've got at home. So and it's not that many. I'm really trying to improvise here. So, and the one thing I knew that I need to have a lot of white because white with another color always goes good, you know, because putting two different colors like, I don't know, blue with orange or green with purple or something, you have, it's kind of risky because not everybody might have the same color taste, right? Uh, some might like this combination, some might not. But when you put it together with a white, I think it will always go well. It's like something that gives some lightness and joy into the toy in any way so and the only white now i have left is the himalaya velvet yarn and i don't like it i will never buy it again <laughs> so before i tell you why i don't like himalaya velvet yarn i'm going to show you what i have made so based on the same jelly uh, uh, jelly fish pattern i made from the velvet yarn Look at this lovely fish. It is kind of pretty long, yes. And I have the white ones. This is this is not. This is still Infinity Hearts Petunia. This is the last one I had left, and I used it, so it's it it's all good, right? But this is already the green one, the color that I like so much. I've made something a little bit with the eyes. I think it's all cute. Uh, I was a little bit worried uh, that this one might not look so good because it's like a thicker yarn and because this one looks very delicate, right? It looks very delicate. You can see very nicely the texture and how the little skirt looks like and but here it in the end it is, is it also looks good. I think it looks kind of good too, right? So I like everything. I like that the tentacles are so long because you really feel like playing with it. It's so nice to just touch them. I don't know. I I just love it. Cook my oh da -da. and I thought I may I have to make more because I want to make like three or so of them. I like put them around uh, so that it would also be like uh, filling the space on the table. And um, I have another one, another yarn that was lying around, and it is uh, this Himalaya velvet, but light blue. And I thought it's perfect light blue. It looks so good. It's like just awesome. Um, and I made it and I threw it out 
<laughs> I threw it out because I understood that I, I, I refused to work with it. I just, I made it, it, it was completely finished. And I have to say everything that, first of all, these ones, I don't know, maybe the yarn is a little bit softer and it was like hanging for very long, <laughs> much longer though. They have the same uh, size of the um, size of the chains. Um, yeah but it was looking not good second of all when i was sewing because this part this bottom part has to be sewn yeah has to be uh, neatly sewn around in the back and that was that blue one from himalaya velvet and i was telling you all the table all the ground all my clothes everything was flying with these fluffy <sighs> fluffy things i'm gonna just show you one more time for the sake of just to, to to show you what i'm talking about here this 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 thing uh wait 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 wait, wait. you see it's just a uh, coming off it's like going off 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 you see and if you have to sew it it's a like a it's a hell it's really a hell i never suggest this one to anybody i know if you need to make something without sewing maybe it's fine but in like in this jellyfish pattern where you need to sew mm -mm, i don't have the patience and i don't like that everything is flying besides it's not safe even when i finished it i was like trying to shake it like there was just everything was fine i believe yes you have to like burn the ends of it tips of it but still it was like I said no i'm not gonna use it anymore for for the jellyfish so but i have this one and i still had some few of these so i have started making i have one in the process i have made uh, these ones yesterday uh i added up i quickly burned the endings of the white one so that they would not be flying around other than that this one is finished so one fish is gonna be ready i have to make the face fill it in and go to go to sew Oh, I just realized that it's a little bit lighter. This yarn with Infinity and this one is, uh, no, Infinity Hearts Petuni and this one is uh, this uh, Himalaya Velvet and they are two different types of color. One is pure white and the other one is more like, I don't know, creamy, creamy white. But it's okay, it doesn't matter. And I have another one started, so I have two in the process. I have to finish them today. And then I have another one and I thought, why would I leave it lying around, right? Let me make one more for jellyfish i thought even if i don't sell them on the market i can later on put them on the etsy or somewhere else and let me see if i can and it's always good to have them around if there's any birthdays or something we can always give it as a gift so <laughs> that is always secured so this is my plan number one just to finish up with a jellyfish so i'm done with the jellyfish because i'm trying to focus now on the three other things that i want to make for the market um, regarding the water theme and that is uh turtles i want to work on the turtles i want to make uh seahorses and what was the third one okay i'm not sure about the third one should i do any third one because i don't think i'm gonna have enough time because i have to start working over the other themes that i'm having in my mind but i was thinking maybe of that blue yarn that i have that is flying everywhere around um uh, maybe i can try making some new so these um these uh raya raya how do you call the rayfish or the whales blue whales i have to check for some no so pattern then maybe i can try and use it as well because i have to get rid of it eventually so better to use it and be done with it right so that's the plan jellyfish to be finished and so i have i will have three from cotton uh, acrylic yarn and four from velvet that's the plan
and then let me talk about another thing so I am like as I, as I said I am using the yarn that I have at home I really don't want to order and make any other orders for the yarn I really the only thing that I might want to like uh, uh, go and buy in the shop I might need some cotton uh, orange color to make the pumpkins but that's gonna be later for another time uh, but other than that like regarding the velvet yarn it's what I have is what I have so and I just wanted to share what I have and so you understand what I'm trying to what things am, am I putting together to understand um, how I'm trying to combine how do I uh, how can I use and what I can make from the colors that I've got so you have seen my my this white and this one this is gonna go to the jellyfish so that is done that is I know where that is going then from the good yarn that I like to work with um, I still have three infinity hearts petunia yarns uh, yeah infinity hearts petunia my second favorite after the ones uh, yeah i have already almost finished them so i have three kind of weird colors <laughs> i don't know what to do with them i don't know what i can possibly do with this like because it's nothing that like no chicken would look nice in it or i don't know this kind of color is like mm, i don't know what i can possibly use it so i might not use it at all i don't know yet so these ones are kind of okay i mean they can always go like some teddy or something i'm still thinking about it so these ones uh, i still have but i really have to think what i can make out of them maybe in the process i will come up with something so i have three these the these colors and then i've got uh, this good yarn that i'm so super like happy about so and uh, I have four skeins of this kind of a brown. It's also like, what can I possibly do? Other than the teddy bear, nothing else comes into my mind. So I'm going to see what I can do with these. Maybe some bats, but bats is also, I don't see them like a brown one. I have to figure out what I can use brown because I have a lot of now these brown tones. I have to see what I can do. And I have still one red one. Red one I will see. Maybe when the, when the, Christmas time comes I can always use it good for the Christmas hats like where when you want when you make a tea uh, an animal like a soft animal you can always like add up a detail a Christmas hat and that means that yeah it's Christmassy more so this is what I have from this yarn and then I have still some baby snuggle and with a baby snuggle it's a little bit complicating so I've got okay this one is easy I have these two ones dark brown and super bright yellow juicy yellow and I want to make bees this one I have already set aside I know I want to make the bees oh I even have two oh I've got two of these and one so this one I'm gonna use for the bees I have never ever made one bee in my life so let me see how that goes I'm like excited because I want to give it a try I see that you guys all of you make that uh, so many bees and I just like oh I want to so now this is going to be the time when the bees are going to be in the action. And then I've got <laughs> then I've got this kind of a very bright, also juicy. I don't think in the camera you can even see in the video. Can you? No, in the camera it shows differently. Then it, it's very like more juicier and nicer uh, um, here on the in the live. So I don't know. I I was looking at those froggies, froggies, these ones with the uh that you can tie the legs and and hands and make different like funny things i'm not sure i like them i don't know why but they just seem to be kind of weird i don't understand that um, but then again maybe kids might like yeah when you play with the hands and the feet um after all it's not only be about me right so yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of thinking what i can do with this uh with this yarn i have to figure out something something out of it so and then I've got a lot of this kind of light yellow, yeah, light yellow color. Four, to be precise, four pieces. And I don't know what to do because, as I said, it could. Uh, as for some chicken or some, again, in the in the camera, the color is not exactly how it is in a real life. It like yeah tones it down a little bit, but other than that, I don't know what to do with it. I have no idea I have to think about something so I have these four that I still have to use right 
Uh, I have th this terrible, terrible, this Himalaya velvet, which I said that I might use for so some no so, so project where maybe really whale or these rayfish, uh, rayfish or how they are called, because I've got four of them and I like the color. The color is really like lovely baby blue, but I'm not gonna sew anything with them other than I don't know. <laughs> Just not, I can only crochet with it and that's it so basically i don't have any more and then i like i have some projects that i have started and where i have some yarn like okay i've got this caterpillar i have no idea if i should finish it i don't like it to be honest i don't think i'm gonna finish i'm gonna just take it down or should i finish can you please help me to figure it out if i should finish it or not i mean maybe i should i don't know wait Wait, do I have? Yeah, I have some legs that I have also started making for them. Maybe I should finish it. After all, if I can like, if somebody, I can always put it like for some little price uh, and just see if it works out because I still have this yarn. I don't know, was I supposed to use this one, I guess, as a head? So I still need one ball, uh, one ball for the head. So. I have this kind of yarn, so maybe I should use it all and be done and make a make a caterpillar. But I'm not happy about it. I'm not like, what do you think? Should I finish the caterpillar? Or should I not? <laughs> I'm kind of confused. I don't know what to do. Other than that, I feel just when I mm, lately I have realized that uh, having so many things lying around, which are the you know sometimes just taking space and. Uh, and it's so overwhelming in a small apartment having so many things of my hobby <laughs> and they're mingling together with the kids stuff so sometimes I just have this urge just to throw everything out and if I see that it's like annoying me I can just like like that like that jellyfish I made from the blue one my my daughter said oh it's fine what's wrong with it why I like I don't like it I don't want it I just want to get rid of it and I just oh, I cut it out uh, I took the um, I took the filling I took the eyes off and I just threw it out in the garbage I don't want to see it I then later I thought why couldn't I use that for the filling as well I could have just <laughs> but that's done I mean it's out of the eyes and out of the sight it and is big and so I'm kind of uh, like also skeptical about this one so I don't know let me think I have not yet made up my mind but I definitely know that I want to get rid of this guy <laughs> this guy this sheep guy I showed it before I have this kind of I have almost made it I mean it's not that I have done a lot of things but I might need this white yarn <laughs> I can take all the filling out and I might use this white yarn because I need the white yarn. So let me see. I guess I most likely this uh, this sheep is going to go away. Yeah, because I don't know. Like who would want to have such a sheep at home? I and mean, it, it does have some cuteness about it when you think about it. But other than that, I don't have any way the, br the gray color left i used it for something i don't know ah for the mouse i used the mouse so yeah i have something i started the lay uh, the hand of the i don't know i'm so confused you see when things make me confused and i just want to get rid of them so that they stop making me confused right so now you guys know what i'm dealing with in here so what colors do i have and what i'm trying to like use from my stash what i have uh so because then you can realize um, that I'm not just coming out with random patterns. Oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do many things, but I have to like try and see where I can use these specific uh, colors and the specific yarn that I can work with. So I also have a little bag here that I sorted out with the small leftovers. I have a little bag that I can still use. This is still, I have a lot of this baby snuggle. I can pretty much make a, uh, something from it. Yeah, I have like little scraps from it. And then I've got this one as well, a little bit still brown. And yeah, this one is the good yarn that I like to work with. So basically that is it. So my aim is still market, till the market, use basically all of this, so I'm like really down to one or two skeins, like uh, I can't use all at once, like put myself into some torture and say now you have to use it all, but that is my like aim, I want to use most of it so that after the market 
I can sit down and order a bunch of nice different colors of from the Infinity Hearts Petunia. I want to use that heart, uh, that yarn, and like just I even am. I'm trying to figure out where I might be putting out because I'm tired of keeping them in the boxes and then every time just going through them uh, I have found a place where I could be actually putting them in uh, the yarn so that they are in front of my eyes and it's easy to choose which I want to use for what. Hey guys, it's Friday. I just thought it's a good moment to make a small video just to add up uh, to my diary. Uh, yeah, today is a very rainy day. The thunder and the lightning, there was such a loud thunder, like, uh, I don't know, some 15 minutes ago. I was doing something in the kitchen, making something to eat for me and my little one. And it was so loud, I even know uh, I jumped up. <laughs> I'm not usually scared or anything from the from that kind of but that was kind of uncomfortable Yeah, so you have seen my jellyfish. I have made four pieces I have used all the green yarn that I had. I'm very happy how they have turned out I'm absolutely in love with them. They are really mm, I like them so much and um, uh, this is gonna go only three to the market because the fourth one I'm gonna give uh, tomorrow to one girl uh, as a birthday gift uh, together with something else like I'm gonna pack it I guess together and I have not yet packed them together yeah but I will give it as a birthday gift uh, so the three one is uh, uh, are only gonna go to tomorrow uh, to tomorrow to the market I mean so then I found one no so uh, pattern for the mm, for the turtles. I don't know. I somehow felt it's gonna be so big in the picture. It felt, but yeah, I'm using a smaller size hook and the yarn and everything, and and it turned pretty small. I have made one, but I'm not super happy where I am with it. So I'm not gonna show it yet, just yet. Uh, let me try and experiment with that still. Yeah. Um, I'm just like trying out the different things, uh, thinking. And by the way, I, I did lie to you. I did lie big time. Remember when I told you that I'm definitely not gonna order anything from the yarn, I mean. Uh, well, I lied. <laughs> I did order something yesterday, but uh, there's a reason for that. So I definitely like, uh, remember I told you that I want like, mm, I will have some like six or five at least trays and I want to have like different themes, like water themed and there are going to be plushies with some bees and, and bears or something like bunnies or something. Then I have my small things there and then I have want to try one making one like Halloween related and one tray with um, autumn things and on autumn things, they're supposed to be pumpkins different size pumpkins and uh, I have never done from the velvet yarn I have done only from the cotton yarn ah, here by the way uh, is the one I did last year so and um, yeah and I thought how about me trying to make it from the velvet yarn that is gonna be just superb it's like right yeah the 9th 10th of September autumn the beginning of autumn it is gonna be exactly the best time to do that so I am, uh, and I don't have any orange yarn. I told, I showed you what I've got, and there is not even slightest, uh, slightest like um, what's it called, um, uh, tone, even close to the orange. So what I'm gonna do is uh, what I have done is first of all I went to the Infinity Hearts Petunium website. I was ready to order there, but. The problem was there's nothing orange there. There's nothing. There is this kind of strange, weird brown, which I have already, uh, and that's it. So I can't take that one. Then I thought, okay, let me go and check what is with a, a hobby, on hobby. And there is this baby snuggle, which is cool. But the thing is that I want that velvety, that shine, that velvety, mm, it's different like silk silkiness of the of the velvet chenille gun it's like it's fluffy it's soft yeah but it doesn't have that thing that i wanted this texture so 
Yeah, well, um, there was a uh, discount right now for the honey bunny. I have never tried that yarn. If you have, please, please, I, I'm begging you, uh, tell me what is the difference between honey bunny and the baby snuggle? Is there anything like different between them two? So yeah, because I was feeling like maybe I should make an order as their discount right now, but uh, and there were nice colors there, but yeah, I'm somehow scared that it's gonna be the same, yeah, baby baby snuggle, <laughs> no baby, that is gonna be the same baby snuggle. So yeah, and I don't want to spend money on the thing that I I, I can I can work with that now. I know that, but. I would better prefer to have that Infinity Hearts Petunia. So the next and the last thing that I was left with, the last resort, is was Amazon. And they have, of course, so much of this uh, Himalaya velvet. And they have a lot of it. And there's so many colors. And the price range is good. And I would really, and they deliver very fast, like sometimes really one, two days, and it's here. But I can't work with it and pumpkins I thought if you make a pumpkin there is gonna be a sewing and pulling it together I ha I will have to like pull it. I can't I need a yarn that is not flying everywhere I simply need a stronger better yarn so I did come across one it's gonna come on Monday I found the because some of them I found another one few of them but they didn't have the orange that I'm looking again or the price would be so high so I did find one which has, I have never even seen or tried, whatever. It felt like it has this uh, velvety stuff. I will be really disappointed if it's gonna be like this, uh, like uh, the baby snuggle type. Because it's written chenille, but in the picture it looks more like velvety. So I'm gonna see how it goes like. I'm gonna talk about it on Monday. I'm gonna, when I get it, I will make a video and share with you what I've got. So fingers crossed, <laughs> there's gonna be because I ordered like two skeins of of of, of uh, this uh, um, pumpkin, eh? but orange one, some one or two the gray, uh, green one for the stems and everything. Let me see how that goes. If it's gonna be good, then I will know that it's something that I can count on. So, but I'm gonna say it only on Monday. Yeah. Let's hope. Fingers crossed, right? Hey guys. Well, I was like very impatient and I thought, let me just try and like set a little bit the table, like to understand where am I going? How am I? I'm so sorry for my look, but I really look like mess. I'm just completely scattered in my head. Okay. But nevertheless, what I want to share is uh, how much do I have for now? What I want to be bringing to the to the market, and then I will tell you my idea. Because there's still time. If I'm doing something wrong, especially those who have done markets, please do. I'm I'm happy for any advice whatsoever, for real. So let me share what I, how much I have done. I know it does look a little bit messy, but let me go through it because I I don't have a table which would be too. 0.2 meters long but the idea is as following so the first side would be about the water theme so I have put my jellyfish which is a nice background I just have to figure out how to set them so they would not be falling because now I literally if I just blow on them they will fall so but the idea is very nice and then there are there is the tray with the small things that I want to be selling there's gonna be still some few octopuses I have made this kind of a small one um, it's the same pattern as for these ones I used these ones but with a fluffy yarn with the baby snuggle so I think it's I adorable I'm gonna add some too because it's it's easy to make it's fast and I'm working also on the turtles right now and then that's it that's it I'm not gonna do anything else to this thing so and then the next one is the um, uh, set for the things that I have been lying for some time the bunny little pillows then I have the little dolly cat uh, then there is a cat heart this car which is my favorite I don't know if I even ha can can sell it I don't know how much I even have to put it to to be able to give it away I don't know I have this Harry Potter snow uh, a snow owl I'm thinking about it should I add it too but I guess anything should be added and then in the background I could put some sheep I have some penguins I have some cat uh, I have another mouse in the process I'm almost finished with it. I have to add, add up only the details. So then it would be the second tray. And as we we're moving, I was thinking to make like more dark, gloomy, like a Halloween themed kind of a tray 
which would be like yeah the dark uh, spiders the turtle for the turtle the ladybug which is kind of not halloween theme but i thought let how it fits in the mm, color scheme i want to make a few more bats and i don't know maybe i will take the ladybug away and add up like maybe some more bats and uh, what else did i want to make this uh, what's it called um, mm, I want to make small plushy ghosts, no so ghosts. And then I have an idea. I have one more tray line here around, which because I decided I bought the trays. <laughs> I bought these kind of a white plastic trays, which I think is very nice and simple. So I'm gonna add up one more. And there I plan to be putting the autumn theme, like the pumpkins and stuff like that for the autumn theme, yeah but i still have some ideas like let's say i've got these kind of um uh these uh like christmas type christmas themed uh bunnies and a cat two bunnies and a cat but i think i'm gonna leave them because it doesn't make sense to add them up as well for this theme i still have a baby blanket that i made some time ago i'm definitely gonna try and fix it and that's the thing i want to add something here the rattles i want to try and see if i can have time to make some rattles to add up to this blanket and i have this babe uh, not baby this tablecloth that one i will use also as to maybe to for the decoration element and then i've got a whole package with small things which i'm also going to try and put somewhere by the side i have one this big mm, ring as well the fan uh, window decoration and this is also gonna go and by the way in this place i'm gonna work with the bees they're gonna be different size bees that's my intention what i have what do you think is it gonna be okay i'm so freaking out now Don't know how much you mean to me, baby I can't put it in words You don't know how much you give to me, baby You keep making me learn, yeah You're like a painting Hanging on my every wall you save me, you give me all and a little more getting somehow more yellow and orange already turning the you know changing the colors there's no this juicy green anywhere and yeah kind of windy and I checked the weather forecast it's gonna be even just like barely 20 degrees every day so yeah um, 
Today I wanted to just run. I actually did it. I just ran out of the house. I, I could not take it anymore. I was like, yesterday we were invited to a birthday party, which, which was kind of cool. Yeah, despite the fact that we had to wake up pretty early. So to be there by 10 o'clock and it's another side of the city. And mm, I was not happy about that. Uh, I wanted really to sleep because little one woke up around five or so and it was not cool so then um, Yeah, but the party was like the party. It was like an indoor playground and it's always nice You know kids are busy. They let you be all I needed is just to run after the little one other than that all was cool and uh, Yeah uh, but when we got home I, yeah, by the evening I had a big fight with my youngest daughter. You know, these are these moments when you feel like, like you're giving everything to them and then they just like spit into your face. And, and I know that they don't maybe mean it that way, but you know, we're all just people and we feel the way we feel. So, um, yeah, yesterday I have been, and today I just also finished, I have been working on the little octopuses. Look, check this out. This is the same pattern as this, uh, the, the cotton ones I made, the colorful, only this one doesn't have any the dots, spots, whatever. Just a simple, a very quick project that you can do like really one hour or so and it's done. I like how it looks like and my, only that these legs are like tentacles are not so long as those ones because this yarn is like softer and it would not otherwise curl I think so good but yeah this is kind of little octopuses oh just something to yeah put for the sale there on the market as well uh, other than that I have now finished with the octopuses I have the four pieces four yellow octopuses but from the velvet I don't think I'm gonna make any more <laughs> But maybe I will take them and have it there somewhere lying around and could do it during the market. I don't know how it goes. But yeah, the nice thing about it is that yesterday I finally, like this market didn't have any posters anywhere. No information, not on Facebook, not on WhatsApp, nowhere, on Instagram as well. And I was like getting worried, you know, maybe they can't get so many people or something. And um yeah, and I was like, I, I wanted to write to them, but I didn't manage yet to write and ask them maybe they have something, but I haven't missed it somewhere and it would be nice if they could send to me because I wanted to forward to, to other people, you know, who might come and so like invite them. Yeah, and eventually uh, yesterday I saw it in one of the group, my kindergarten group, you know, we are all in the same area. And yeah, there's a lovely poster, super lovely poster, things which are going to be there. I don't think it's going to be a big one because it's their first handmade work, uh, like handmade uh, stuff market. But I think it's going to be good. I can, I, I mean, I have to be very positive about everything, even if it's not that big. I mean, it would be nice that every year I would know this is a market where I'm going and it's like something you are looking forward and who knows, maybe it will be really good. They might make it two times a year. I don't know. So, yeah, there's a mar there's a poster, you know, people are getting in, you know, like preparing, also waiting, uh, you know, that uh, something's going to happen on that weekend and yeah. And I'm now going to work on the turtles. I made one and guess what? I gave it yesterday to the birthday girl as a present. I put it together with other things that we got for her. And yeah, I don't have anything to show you. I made it and I have not even taken a single photo of it. So yeah, I am going to now make another one. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick note that I just finished the turtle that I was working on. And I just wanted to share it with you look at this little cute guy in the pattern in the pattern there was no this kind of edging well the edging I added up I don't know if it looks good or not and I thought it always gives a little bit something um, yeah it's a no so pattern that I came across somewhere I'll put the link in the description box and yeah I think I'm gonna be making a few of these I like the size it's really kind of small. I don't need to price it too much, but though I have to admit it that it's kind of time consuming. But I want to make several colors of the of these turtles. Looks cute. Oh. <laughs>